We can look at the modern history of recorded sound as having four distinct eras. The first practical sound recording and reproduction device was Thomas Edison's mechanical phonograph cylinder, invented in 1877. Later that year, Emil Berliner's gramophone used a lateral side-to-side -side recording method that allowed for copying of the master disc, and that helped usher in the acoustic recording era. Lee DeForest developed the first electronic signal amplifier in 1906, and in 1912, Edwin Armstrong's regenerative circuits made radio reception practical. By 1925, their inventions had become recording industry standards, and the electronic recording era had arrived. Reel-to-reel -reel tapes and the long-playing record brought us into the magnetic recording era. Philips Corporation had introduced a portable audio cassette player in 1963, but by the early 80s, it was Sony's popular Walkman that had finally pushed cassette tape sales ahead of vinyl records. But innovation never sleeps, and Philips and Sony actually joined forces to introduce the compact disc in 1982. Later, MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface, allowed for even better integration between electronic musical instruments and sound recordings. From about 1989 until today, the continual development and refinement of the MP3 digital sound format has enabled the easy transfer and manipulation of digital music files. In 2001, Apple introduced the iPod, and as they say, the rest is history.